Okay, hello. So, this is some information about what I'll do in this video. If you want to read it, just press pause. Basically, it says I will download the SSL certificates from Zero SSL and then I will install them on my server using, and I'm using Nginx. Okay, so here's the Zero SSL website. After I have verified that I am the owner of the domain, they will issue the certificate. So you download the zip zip folder with the there's three files. I'll show you them in a minute. And you can go to this help center. It has some information about installing the certificates. So I'm installing it on Nginx. So I'll click on this. So you will download these three. And the first two files, the this one and this one, you merge them together using this command. So I'll use this command later on. Okay, these are the three files. So I will copy the contents of each of these and then put them onto the server. Since this is just a YouTube video, I I don't really have the contents. These are not r the actual certificates because it would just be bad security practice if I showed you what the real certificate was. So anyway, you copy the three files and go to the server. Okay, I'll make a new folder to put the three files into. Okay, I'll make the first file that I just copied. Control X, Y. Sorry, I made a mistake there. Just go back, do it properly this time. Control X, Y, return. And I'll just remove the, the wrong files I made. Okay, so the first file, this one, is copied and it's in the, it's on the server. I'll do the same for this. Okay, that's done there. This file here, I copied it, I opened it, copied it, put it on the server and it's called b.cert. Next thing I have to do is just merge these two files together. So we'll go back and get that command, this one here. Let's I can put it in the description. Just a quick note about this, if you call call a.cert, if you just call it certificate.cert and you try and run this command, it will come up with an error message saying that the input is the same as the output. Even though there's an error message, it'll still do the job. Uh, but I would just recommend just calling them A and B, as long as you just don't confuse them. Okay, I merged the A and B together and it's certificate.cert. Finally, I'll just go and copy this one. 
And what you should note about this is it's a key file. I thought it was a TXT file, but it's a key file. So just make sure you you name it correctly. So now the three files are on the server. Okay, so I've merged those two. So it's private.key. Now I just have to go to the configuration file and point the configuration file to these to this folder. It's in this folder called sites available. Turn or tab. Okay, it's a uh, default. Okay. So I'm only making, I'm not really doing this now. I'm just making the video of showing you how you do it. So I'm renewing these. I have to renew them every three months in the these new the new certificate is saved in a folder called SSL eleven. So I just changed that to the folder that I put them into. And make sure it's named correctly. Okay, if it's dot txt, put it tx dot txt. Okay, and then once you've done that, you restart nginx. Okay, sudo service nginx restart, enter. Okay, and so it just restarted. If it doesn't restart and an error message comes up, it's probably because in that nano default fault, there's something is named wrong here. That's what happened to me. I named it wrong. So in, in this folder here, it's called private.txt. So make sure you don't mix something up. Okay, and then you just check. So you go to the website and you check that the key is, the new certificate is installed. So this is, I did this two days ago and the new certificate is installed. So that's how you do it. That's how you install the certificates on Nginx.